This episode is about my King's College service. Let's delve behind the dots. My King's College service was a commission from Ben Parry for the King's Voices, which is the mixed voice choir of King's College Cambridge. And it's just been a thrill because I wrote this setting hoping that choirs would enjoy singing it. And it's been one of my most popular pieces, I am told. So I'm really thrilled. It's got this lovely picture on the front of that iconic building. And I'm going to just tell you a little bit about how and why I wrote what I wrote. The Magnificat is the Song of Mary. So I wanted that opening melody to be sung by the sopranos and to have a sort of innocence and uh, youth about it. And also I was very much influenced by the word magnify. My soul doth magnify the Lord. And so when I was writing the melody, I thought it would be fun to come up with a little cell, which is just that, and then to expand it and then again, and then again, so that it's got that sense of magnifying in the sopranos. And then later on, when the lower voices sing for he that is mighty hath magnified me i have the same melody another phrase that i want to pick out is and his mercy is on them that fear him for me it sounded like and his mercy for the word fear and then throughout all generations it opens out so then continuing this word painting idea you've got the the lyric he hath showed strength with his arm at this point i've paired the voices so you've got two of the parts going and you've got the other parts going lots of bare fifths with no third in the middle of the chord because it sounds strong and then you've got these punctuations from the organ in the gaps and then I also want to draw your attention to another word painting moment which is he hath scattered the proud. And in that bar for scattered, I deliberately made the t sound of scattered occur at different points in different voice parts so that the overall effect is scattered. T -t 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 -t. And then finally, for the last section of, of the piece, which is the glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, I bring back that original tune. It's such a classic thing to do in a piece to return to the original tune. It makes it sound familiar to the congregation who are listening to it. And I think that's so important, especially with new settings like mine. There needs to be something that people can hook onto orally. And so hopefully when that tune comes back for glory be to will think, oh, I, I recognise that from the beginning. By contrast, the Nunc Dimittis is the voice of Simeon rather than Mary. So I've chosen a male voice to sing this opening melody. And because the words are more prayerful and more introspective than Mary's Magnificat, I chose to use the relative minor key of D minor here but I wanted the piece to be related to its Magnificat its its other side of the canticles in some way so what I've done is I've taken 
the opening organ introduction of the Magnificat, put it into D minor instead of F major and augmented it so that instead of it being this time you've got so a slower rhythm and then that leads into the opening solo The other part I want to mention from the Nunc Dimittis is this part, to be a light, to lighten the Gentiles. I love that moment because it's like the sun comes out. So the point is that Jesus has come into the world to be a light to us. So I wanted to do something really special. And you'd think from the bar before, which is this, The next chord is going to be this, which is B flat major, because that's the dominant of B flat major. But instead, I played a little trick and I've gone to a different key because I want that light to sound really surprising. So instead, I've done this. major I've used that F as a pivot note as we call it so it could go anywhere you want it to go and what I've chosen is to make it the third of the new key which hopefully sounds like the light coming out at that moment and then at the end of the Nunc Dimittis I've set the Gloria in the same way that I set the Magnificat Gloria. Not all composers do this but again I think it's really nice for the congregation to hear something familiar that they can latch on to for the final section. The Magnificat ends very uplifting, the Nunc Dimittis is more prayerful but I do still end in F major, the home key of the canticles, but I finish with a slow rising organ line, which just gives the whole atmosphere a bit more stillness than the Magnificat. So I hope that this introduction to my King's College service will inspire you to sing it with your choir. You can find the music at the Royal School of Church Music.